Hello everyone, my name is Ali A. Welcome to a list of all of the guns within Call of Duty Black Ops 2 multiplayer, along with a list of their attachments as well, and also my favourite class from playing Black Ops 2 multiplayer at Gamescom. One of the classes I think could be one of the best classes when the game is fully launched, assuming no changes are made, but there probably will be changes so things could switch it up, but I'll show you the class at the end of the video with some gameplay. So first of all here, we've got three LMGs, the LSAT, the QBR, LSW, and the MK48. Didn't get to use the LMGs very much out there at Gamescom when I was playing Black Ops 2, so I can't comment on them too much, I'm afraid. Here we have three more shotguns. Here we've got the M1216, the Saiga 12, and also the R870 MCS. I had a go with one of the shotguns, and uh, the range wasn't very great at all. I'm hoping they increase the range a tad on the shotguns. Here are the lethal equipment. I love the C4 and the Bouncing Betty. They're just classic uh, lethal slot um, equipments, and they just work work really really well. The sidearms here, the one you want to be looking at is the one on the far right, the B23R, basically like the Raffikas from Modern Warfare 2 if you've ever used them, they're burst fire, they are ridiculous, they could be a primary weapon and here are the attachments for the sidearm and um, the fast mag works very well because it allows you to reload faster and the laser sight acts as steady aim basically making you uh, have a better chance of shooting someone and hitting someone from the hip. Here we have the three sniper rifles from the alpha build of Black Ops 2 which was at Gamescom. Hopefully they add more sniper rifles. We've got one bolt action on the left and the right and in the middle you've got a semi-automatic. The semi-automatic in the middle wasn't very good at all. Stay away from that at all costs. Here we have a look at the ballista attachments and you can see the iron sights as an attachment. That was only for the ballista. And then you've got the ballistic CPU. That was for all of the snipers. That basically means you get less sway when you zoom in, which was really, really awesome. Here we also have the list of the submachine guns. I don't have any images, I'm afraid. We've got a Chicom QCB, the PW57, the MP7, the UZ, the Vector Taken, the Scorpion Evo 3, and the MSMC. I like using the final SMG, that worked really well with the silencer on it, and I look forward to using the SMGs again. Now, moving on to the assault rifles here, you probably are really interested in the assault rifles. We've got the AN94, the SMR, the M8. A1 and the Type 25, all of them are really good in their own right, but the M8A1 is fantastic, it's got a burst fire option, but if you put on a certain attachment you can actually make it go fully automatic, so I'll talk about that in a minute. Here we've got three more assault rifles, the SA-58, the SIG and the SCAR-H. The SCAR-H shot really slowly, wasn't very powerful, it was a bit disappointing, hopefully they up the power for the SCAR for the final release, and here we've got attachments, the key attachments here are the foregrip, which means less recoil when you're being shot at while you're zooming down sights. The adjustable stop, which basically acts as stalker, allowing you to move fast while aiming down sights, and quick draw with the millimeter scanner and these target finder, all which were in the multiplayer trailer. And then the select fire option was really, really key. As you can see here, this was my beast class setup from Gamescom. The select fire option allows you to go between burst and auto whenever you want. So at close range, you want to be rocking your auto, and then at long range, you just quickly switch to burst. It takes no time at all. I was using hardline toughness dexterity and a frag grenade for the lethal slot with a primary for the um, card wild card slot which allow me to have three attachments on the M8 and here we get to see one of the pro players using an almost identical setup to what I was using and you can just see how it wrecks havoc at close range when it's automatic and as we can see here if we pay attention there's actually a, a shot off from the sniper which gives his position away allowing him to shoot down both him and his teammates and there we go that's some gameplay of the gun in action as well. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you haven't seen any gameplay yet of the actual sniper within Black Ops 2 as full gameplay up on my channel, definitely check that out. If you're new here, feel free to subscribe. If you've enjoyed the video, click the like button. I really appreciate it when you guys do that. So thank you very much for watching, guys, and I'll see you on my next video.